From Colorado's high-definition news leader, this is 9 News at 5. Millions of Americans take an aspirin a day to keep from having a heart attack or stroke. But for many, that aspirin might not be doing its job. It turns out that some of us are resistant to aspirin's effects. As 9 News medical reporter Dr. John Torres shows us, a firefighter named Bob Baker found out that he'll need more than just a baby aspirin to stay healthy. It really wasn't too disconcerting for me until they started to talk about uh, what that could relate to and other problems that you might have as a result. Bob is referring to his recent test called the Aspirin Works, a simple urine test that can tell you whether a standard baby aspirin of 81 milligrams works for you or if you need a higher dose. Important information for patients and their doctors since aspirin can help prevent heart attacks and strokes. Quite a large percentage that actually are probably being fooled into thinking that aspirin is protective. And so many of them might need two baby aspirins a day or they or 81 milligram aspirins or, or some need to go to a full 325. In Bob Baker's case, the test showed his blood clots quicker than most. So doctors put him on a higher dose of aspirin. Now, although his high clotting factor could save him on the job as a firefighter, it could also lead to more heart attacks and strokes. They did tell me that, that I had an unusually high clotting factor in my blood. Uh, which is good if you get injured, but not so good from, for day-to-day -day living. Dr. Boone recommends this test for most patients that need a daily aspirin. If I was a person that had higher risk, worse family history, if I was getting older, if I was in the age range that really needed the aspirin to work effectively, then I would get a test like this Aspirin Works test. This is Dr. John Torres, 9 News. Bob Baker's now taking a daily high-dose aspirin and plans to be retested to see if it's working well enough. About a quarter of us are aspirin-resistant, so knowing the right dose will help people trying to reduce their risk of heart attack or stroke. Starbucks has found itself in the middle of a growing debate over gun laws.